When we think about architecture, everybody that we know around us assumes to know the definition. And I'm not the first to say that I don't know a lot about architecture. But I can definitely say that I am made up of architecture. The way that I'm formed on a biological level and the way that my skeleton moves about the way that it does is a form of architecture. Now, many of us eat different forms of pasta every day, and yet we don't think of pasta as architecture. And yet it is a form of architecture because it is made of a structure that is preconceived. But how many of those and us give in to the notion of architecture simply by being people who are interested in architecture? Architecturally speaking, there have been centuries that have gone by where some people don't even think about architecture at all. But what is architecture? Architecture is not simply something soft that you can put in your hand and mold it to your own wishes or desires. But it is something that can be delicious if used with the right sauces. Now, we've heard all manner of speaking of different types of architectural precedents and futuristic envisionings of what architecture can bring to us currently. And as an architect, I can tell you, some great stuff is, is coming up. Um, biology. Yes, we can learn from it. Biomimicry is something really cool. Um, but you know what else is cool? Other things. <laughs> I want to be an architect that promotes the use of other things other than biology. I want to look at things that aren't biological at all which is nothing. So, how can we learn from nothing? Everything that we are is biological. When you look at a map, you see a bunch of structures and lines, and yet it was made by a biological entity using biological components that are in a biological universe. How can we escape biology? That is my goal. I don't want to be biological anymore no more than anybody else wants to be mechanical. And yet mechanics are inherently biological. I want to show you a few slides and see what you think. Everyone knows that in the EO system, there are 3,344.3 degrees of separation between any variable alignment of stars that people are looking at from any point within that structure. But what if you were to take that structure and invert it in a way that doesn't make any sense? Would that make you feel happy? Maybe. But what I want mostly, most of all, never ever could I ever would be, whoever would be, should be, should to say, for now, is, hey. <laughs> Thank you. That was a piece by uh, Keats. Um, some of you may know a few Germans and you should get to know them, they're very nice people. Um, when visiting Germany, if you ever get a chance, you should definitely, um, I, I've said this earlier, but we should have some Dampfnudel. Um, the more Dampfnudel that we can have, the better that our day will be. Um, so I'm proud to say that we have a Dampfnudel machine um, that we're working on. It will be available in the lobby when you come out and you can just press a button and get your any flavored dump noodle that you want. So um, definitely a big round of applause for the engineers there. Okay. Um, architecture can be something that you see or it can be something that you can hear. Uh, I'd like to construct a few architectural phrases which uh, enable the user in the end game end times to become reformed uh, as one would tend to be if they were to be, uh, uh, be, the, be them, they, they're all those people. So, um, 
If you guys are ready, uh, if you look under your seats, there are some headphones. You can put them on and uh, take a listen to some of this unique three-dimensional music. And hope you hope you like them. And uh, and if you don't hear anything at first, turn up the volume on the side. There is like a little transponder. So um, yeah. So anyways, check out the headphones right underneath your seats. I just want to say that when I go to this microphone, unless you are wearing those headphones, you will not be able to hear anything. So definitely put on those headphones, and then you'll hear something. OK. Uh, hit channel two on the headphones, and then you should be able to hear me. So I'm going to go back over here and just hit channel two on those headphones. Okay, thank you. Okay, now you can hear me. Okay. Um, this first uh, experiment is called uh, Chez Lange uh, because it reminds me of Eames uh, and. Uh, Love Eames. He's a great guy. He's a real Eam player. <laughs> okay. Dankeschön. <laughs> This next song I'd like to do for you is uh, this is a song that was greatly inspired by my upbringing, and I've had a few upbringings, but uh, this is, <laughs> this one was one of my favorites, so, um, so I just want to say, definitely enjoy the Dampfnoodle once you get out into the lobby uh, uh, and tip your Dampfnoodle uh, maker. 
as well. So, anyways, uh, check this out. This is um, this is from a, inspired from a band called Einstusina Neibauten, um, who are an amazing new group, um, and I think you're going to really, really, really like them. Um, an offshoot of uh, of the band Ministry, but uh, I think I think you'll like it. This next song, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this, uh, this is, a, this is one, of the, one of the last songs of the evening, and we do, uh, we do appreciate uh, every single, every person here. Um, we know a lot of you guys have worked hard to get here. Um, and it's very difficult to get here because you, first of all, you have to decide uh, to come here. And, uh, and that's not easy because Maybe you didn't want to come, and uh, and some friend convinced you that it would be good, and then then you decided to do it. So we do appreciate you deciding to do it, and then actually coming. So we do appreciate that. There's a huge gap of time between deciding to do something, and then programming this machine that you steer every day, that you pilot, that you're inside of, um, to actually move it to go to different places and to like, you know, go somewhere and activate machinery that's designed for this particular vehicle to get this point of consciousness which perceives things and makes actions according to the reflections of the environment around it to actually end up in this exact place uh, right here. So we do appreciate you guys activating that machine and also being here to observe uh, this particular moment right now that's that's gone but um, <laughs> but anyways so I'm gonna do this song this is the last song this is about um, this is about Berlin um, because it's like one of my favorite um, bands uh, and uh, and God, I wish this thing would stop I'm sorry Okay, um, so this is one of my favorite bands, and, I, and again, I, I do thank all of you guys uh, for being here, and um, I am so excited, I don't know about you, about having some Dampfnudel a little bit after this set, because that's, to me, what the whole uh, TEDx experience is about. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, so check it out, and remember, uh, 
Uh, this is, of course, as I always say in, in many of these TED Talks, um, this is a very, very uh, convincing simulation that we are currently in, and, uh, and thanks to you guys, um, we're continuing to add more content uh, to the simulation. Um, so thank you, uh, all the programmers, for making that happen. Okay, so anyways, here's the last song, and we thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you, TEDx. Thank you, TEDx Berlin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is a teaser trailer for a new movie that we're working on here at TEDx Berlin called um, Ber Berlin. What's this working? To? All right. So I can't reveal that. Okay, so um, <laughs> here we go. As we mentioned, uh, some early dumb fnoodlers. Um, uh, save some for us. Okay, anyways, here we go. This is the encore. It's called Flight of the Encores. <laughs> Take me apart when you see the way How can be the day to win the fair share of me How will we there and when you know I'm being on there Check me out why Where do you turn You made a sad of all of me Rolling down And tell me I love you Tell me I'm so loose on me But any day so much on my daddy, but God alone on that bone that hold the same I hold for. I'm climbing for the love me to find what you need for. Never mind, you know that you've been up for my baby. Won't you reach out to the sky and let me know how? Cause ducks are like chickens. Ducks are like chickens. And pigeons like sparrows and sparrows like ducks and pterodactyls spread your wings and squawk to the sky above cause you ain't no bird no more you ain't no bird no more yeah baby you baby like i wanna baby you baby baby yeah oh baby yeah baby yeah baby baby yeah a smaller version of the thing that you chew oh uh, yeah uh, closer to the point in which it originates baby birds Time to get yourself a world. And I know that there's a reason to be woke. Cause I've been waiting. So Baby got a sticky fingers. Baby's got them sticky fingers. Let me get a washcloth from the bathroom. Don't you move. Keep on laying on the bed. Baby, let me get that washcloth and let me wash away the stickiness instead. Cause I've seen it in We keep on moving on. And keep on moving. It's that rubber thing we're playing this day. And keep on moving. It's time Even when I say that It's time 
Listen to some music. Unfortunately, the festival of Kreuzberg burned down yet. But we will remember it forever. Don't ever, ever forget Sennheiser Neumann. Sennheiser Neumann. Sennheiser Neumann, yeah. Schiemann, Sennheiser Neumann. Sennheiser Neumann, Mercedes, BMW, Funkhouse, Telefunken, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows. That I love you. 